Hi guys, we're going to read another story today. This one is called The Wrong Side of the Bed. It is by Lisa M. Bakos and illustrated by Anna Raff. One morning, Lucy woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Her hair was tangled, her pajamas were rumpled, and she could only find one bunny slipper. Apparently, it was going to be a one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy was supposed to make her bed, but a porcupine was causing a very prickly lump. She poked him, but he refused to budge. Instead, he wanted to snuggle. Surely, it was a very prickly one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy could not find matching socks. So she wore one with stripes and one with dots. The octopus in her drawers did not seem to have a problem finding matching socks or ones without holes. Clearly, it was a mismatched sock, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy poured too much syrup on her pancakes and got a sticky stain on her new dress. A big brown bear tried to lick it off. He only smeared it in. Evidently, it was a sticky stain, mismatched sock, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy missed the bus and had to ride her bike to school. The elephant on her handlebars missed the bus too. He also missed it after school. Certainly, it was a miss the bus, sticky stain, mismatched socks, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. It's getting a crazy day, huh? Lucy was late for ballet, and all the tutus were taken. To make matters worse, the hippo left by wearing three. The hippo wore them all. Obviously, it was a late for ballet, missed the bus, sticky stain, missed the socks, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy was not allowed to have ice cream and sprinkles until she ate her broccoli. The pig dining next to her ate his broccoli. He even had seconds. Sadly, it was an eat your broccoli, late for ballet, missed the bus, sticky stain, missed the bus, sucks, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. Just keeps piling up. Lucy had to take a bath, but she was all out of bubbles. The penguins next to her decided to make their own. They were terribly good at it. I mean, I'd be happy to bubble bath with some penguins. Unmistakably, it was smelly bubbles, eat your broccoli, late for ballet, miss the bus, sticky stain, miss much socks, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy could not brush her teeth because a crocodile had taken her toothbrush. He took forever to floss. Unquestionably, it was a no toothbrush, smelly bubbles, eat your broccoli, late for ballet, miss the bus, sticky stain, mismatched socks, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. Lucy climbed into bed, but someone was hogging the covers, and no one could agree on the same bedtime story. The penguin started a pillow fight. Undoubtedly, it had been a feathers everywhere, no toothbrush, smelly bubbles, eat your broccoli, late for ballet, miss the bus, sticky stain, mismatched socks, very prickly, one bunny slipper sort of day. The next morning, Lucy woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Her hair was tangled, her pajamas were rumpled, and she could only find one bunny slipper. Unfortunately, it looked like it was going to be another one bunny slipper sort of day, until, that is, Lucy decided to put on galoshes. You guys know what galoshes are? They're shoes you can wear in the rain. Fortunately, it was going to be a galoshes sort of day. So what can we learn from waking up on the wrong side of the bed? I think we wake up on the wrong side of the bed and that starts our day off really bad. And everything seems to get worse and worse and worse. But it's not the end of the day. Tomorrow's a new day. And you've heard me tell you that before. Tomorrow's a new day. Tonight, tonight and today it might have been a really hard day, but tomorrow's a new day. So sometimes we can decide that today's a new day. Even though our morning was bad, we can decide at lunchtime, you know what? The rest of the day is 
going to be better. I'm going to change my mindset. So you can do that too. And I believe in you, okay? Have a good one.